Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna do the small research. If you are ready for this research tutorial, let's get start. Before to create something, you should create some like main map. So here what I create. Uh, we have this website, this is go again. And what this uh, site doing, let me I will reload it. And as you can see, we have the bunch, the colors uh, like dirt, uh, like gravel, mood. They have uh, each different color. Each color, for example, if you, for example, create this color here on the canvas and let's start the production oh i forgot the checkbox if you will start the production you will get exactly the mode of your the picture or images let's say we have the different colors and each colors it's something like road like the building whatever but each colors have the same object if this each color has the same object we can make the equal for example each category of our element will be have own color so if they will have own color we can use the randomize and we can get the randomize image it looks simple, but uh, how we can do that? So this is what uh, the, my research today. And first of all, of course, we need the Dynama. Here is my Dynama. Let's create the new one. And uh, we need the data for the Dynama. To get the data, we have the, a lot of the ways how we can, for example, the select the elements. I will use the simplest one because today I want to just show you the principle, how it will be work. So let's use the select, uh, select model elements. I will go to the selection. I will use actually the all the nodes will be vanilla. So it's the going from the box. Uh, and we need the select model elements so it's here and as you understand we need select the elements and if you will see uh, to the our screen we don't have here the any elements let's create like simple elements mm, I will create for example uh, walls I will just copy it like one two three four five doesn't matter how much we do do that and let's create the floors uh, let's create like three or five doesn't matter again like three okay we did it maybe much more let's do like that why not so we have some elements now what we're gonna do uh, now i will click on the select i will go back now to the revit and i will select all the elements what i wanna get inside to the dynamo Again, you can use the category, you can use all the uh, elements on the view. This is again up to you. This is my way, what I want to do. So we get the elements. Now I want to, uh, as you can see on the my mind map, we want to get the category of element. So this is our mm, main data. Uh, to get the category from the elements, we need, of course, the, uh, the using the not elements get category. Where is that? Elements of category all. Or just let's type the category. And we need all elements get category. It's here. And as you can see, uh, it's going inside the elements and we're getting the category. And we get all the categories what we have. Now oh, we need the name of this category. So this is easy. We just can find it here as you can see here the name and we will get the string so if you will see inside you will see this is now the string uh, we get the string uh, now we can for example uh, create uh, something interesting thing like let's uh, let's say we want to uh, use the uh, string string dot uh, count count and this one okay so we are just searching some words let's say so if we will connect now our string for example to the string what we are searching for so we are searching the walls right let's type the walls because the category have the mm, system name they not will change the name if here the walls what you're gonna do what whatever you will do it will be walls always uh, like you see it here so let me I will connect here and what we get if you will see, we get just numbers like one or zero, or this is true or false. That's it. As easy, uh, it's really easy. Now we need to con convert the one and the zero to the true or false. Uh, you can just create the simple code block like x uh, x equal one, and if we'll get our int inside, if x uh, equal to the one, you will get the true. If it's zero, you will get the false. So just simple logic operation. And now we need the mask. Let's find the mask. Here is the, our mask. And 
uh, our mask it will be true or false and our main uh, our main uh, the list will be here the category let me will connect it and it's here and if you look inside you no know, you can see like where is the uh, true where is the false it's really easy so we get it so uh, what we're gonna do next next um, let's create the one more category because now we have the only um, only the walls but let's say we want to get also the floors because we also have the floors on the, our uh, uh, on the our project and let's write here the floors we just need the data that's it what we are, what we doing only this thing here just we will copy it and we will connect it to the mask that's it now you can see here is the floors that's it. so uh what what the next next we need to uh create the colors we don't need to have walls here floor for example here we need the colors instead of the floor so what we're gonna do we need the color palette let's find it mm, color it's here and it's now interesting time because we are need to uh, uh, get the color of that uh, so if you go back to the uh, website let me go back to the website as i said already if for example we have the, this color we will get the it, i think this is uh, the mood if i'm not wrong yeah as you can see uh, i'm not just will uh, trying to pick this color uh, we will do approximately uh, yeah it's not best way but again this is your time uh, i don't want to spend it so let me i will go to the advance and i will find here the approximately of this color so where is that or maybe we can do like this where is that like this and after that i will just go to the advance and i think it's something like like this wait 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 i i think this one uh yeah it's i uh, can be no it's more dark mm -hmm. it's more dark and as you can see it's now it's like this okay and we need the gray color the light gray, something like that if you will go back to the here oh not like the right gray, just the uh another one type i think this one yeah so we have the two colors now we need uh change uh uh, as I said before, walls to the this color, floors to this this color. That's it. Uh, let me I will use the if. It's one of the simplest way how we can uh, change date. Let me if will be here the true and to the inside we'll go to the test and we'll go to the false and you will see the magic now. All the our uh, walls get this color. That's it. Let's do the same thing for the floors i will unconnect everything here to the middle uh, and here to the internal one and what we get we get the same thing 10 yes 10 here and 10 here that's it so uh next we need just create the list it's just creation list we have the two types of the category we now can combine it we already combine it and after that just flatten because we need just one uh, single list and you will see it here the one single list that's it so we now changed all our as you can see we changed all our mm, walls and we changed all our floors that's it so now we need to get the color so and now in interesting time because we can go to the image image here and from pixel from ah, it's here from pixel as you can see going to to internal one we need to push here the colors and here we have the exactly color let's connect we cannot see anything we can see only the bitmap inside of that because we need image uh, image watch and let's connect it and just one second okay and we get something like that so actually this is already something because we already get the, uh, our uh, future picture let's say the next thing what i want to do i want to change this picture to make it uh i don't know the square one uh again guys uh, i'm not trying to i'm not trying to show you the best way so maybe you will find your best way i just showing uh, how i i feel it's how i can do that 
so here is the uh, pixels as you can see and uh, let's say we will create the 200 pixels by 200 pixels it will be quite enough so here is 200 pixels by 200 pixels and let's connect to the image and let's say it will take time let's wait it so it's done and now let's see what we get again we need the watch and we need the our C image what we get inside and it's not working like that because inside we don't have the bitmap we, inside we have the colors because we need the, the same thing like this let's connect it here and this one to here and we get the the square one so now we have the much more pixels than we have it here because here it's really small uh, images and as you can see we get something like that and now we can say uh, this is uh, our floors and this or oh, walls or floors I already forgot so yeah this is our this is our walls and here is our floors so we visualize our data somehow but we did it uh, let me now export this image because we want to get it uh, to the uh, go again and check it there and we need to write write to file so let's connect it here i will try uh, change the mode to the manual because sometimes it can be work wrong let me i will save it i will save it like a home doesn't matter and uh, let's create the string uh, because we want to we want to write here the way where it will be saved. Let me, I will create the folder on the my desktop and uh, I will show you. And here is the way where it will be saved like this and better to use the string string and let's copy it here, but it's not finished. You should make on this one thing here and the name of the file. Let's will be test dot png so now if you will connect this one to the path and here is the my uh my folder let me will run it and this picture is already here it's small this picture here so and now much interesting time let's load it inside to the website i will copy again the uh, folder uh, way and I will go to the website. Here is our website. Let me I will uh, reload it because sometimes it's not working properly. Don't forget here the checkbox. Uh, again, I need only input my visualization. Let me I will load it uh, here the way and let's load this test picture. And don't forget upload it. And here is our picture. Now let's visualize it. And here we are. And this our uh, data visualizing like colors and this our data visualizing from the this is a network uh, from the nvidia and as you can see uh, we can say our data is art yeah it's somehow like art because if for example if we'll change colors let me will change the colors we will go back and um, for example here is the test and it will be now test number two because i want to save uh, another type of the colors so let me I will change for example this one to the maybe much brighter and this one it will be like a, mm, maybe like this even uh, even more dark let's run again uh, to create this picture it will take a bit of time so this done now let's go back uh, to the our website uh, maybe I will save this image because I want to make it like a uh, difference uh, between the one thing and another one where is the my new folder uh, it's somewhere here and we will say this is will be test one so now we will understand this picture it's test one so let's uh, again reload this website upload uh, the test number two I said upload and I will unswitch all these two points and let's create them what we get let's wait and we get something like that uh, again if you want to exactly using the colors like uh, for example if you want to see exactly the dirt uh, you need to get this um, this uh, what, what the color here they're using you just need to pick this color 
uh, and that's why you can uh, exactly uh, export it to the Revit and after that you will get the same what you want. For example, here somewhere here is the building, let's see the house using this color as you can see and platform using this color. For example, if we will go to the landscape, the mounts it have around like a green one heals the green, green, as you can see, green, green, and fog and heal is really, uh, really close. So we get this uh, type of the image of our data. Let me, I will call it again the test number two, uh, test number two, and let's create one more picture here like that. And let's create one more picture and maybe even really we should create something like uh, this one. And I want to find actually uh, what the color using there, for example, the occasion. Uh, where is that? Let me go to the ground and uh, here the mood, sand, road, not, not what I want to want. C, for example, something like a blue, light blue, I, I will say. Uh, let me will use light blue. Let me will find it something somewhere here and it's using like like this one. Okay, so let's create the new. Oh, I will change now. Mm, sorry, I didn't change the name. And now it will be replaced. Uh, as you can see, it's replaced this color. Okay, okay, not a big problem. Uh, we will use what we have. Let's reload it. Mm, let's load this one new picture. Check it. Upload it. Uncheck this two, two box and let's visualize it. And we get something like that. So what I want actually. As you can see, this is really interesting. Uh, you can say the your data, it's not just a data, your data, it's really art. You can use the different styles here. And I, I think this is amazing. Again, guys, it's only up to you. This is not a tutorial as you already waiting it. Uh, this is much about the research, how you can using the data and one more special things, but it will be uh, like a, um, like extra bonus for this video. Now our, our data, as you can see, it's uh, strictly uh, have the list. It's but we can shuffle it. Yeah, we can shuffle all our data. Let me, I will freeze this uh, node and I will use the shuffle. Let's find the shuffle. Uh, shuffle, it's like that. Shuffle list. And for example, here is our data and you can see exactly here the color. Uh, say the one color and here another color. Like you can see it here, one, uh, 145 and after that uh, 140, uh, 54. If you will shuffle it, we will get absolutely, absolutely randomize it. So where is that shuffle? Run it. Oh, it's not here. Sorry, it's my mistake. Uh, we need to do it after the flat run. Let's, you can uh, look here, run it and we get like this. We can use also the shuffle with the seed. Uh, with this seed, it's, uh, we will get much more possibilities, for example, and random uh, random seed, for example. Oh, we need random. We get here the random number and we can connect to the seed. Why I did that? Because each time when you will say, the, for example, run, actually we should update it, but why it's not updated? Run. It's not updating here. <laughs> uh, okay, it doesn't matter. So we get like that. So, for example, if I will run. Oh my God, why it's not working always when I will run? Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, we get something like that. And if we will unfreeze this one and it will run again, we now will get here the, another picture. Just let's, let's wait for it. We get something like that. So... And uh, as you understand, if we will go to the here and if we will load our new picture, let me will try to load without uh, updating my website. Maybe it will be work. Yeah, no, it's as you can see, it's not working. So you should reload the site. And after that, you should uh, again load your picture. OK, let's do that. What we will get. And we get something like that. 
So as you can see, you can not like uh, creating twist the lines. You can create absolutely random. This is again up to you. I did uh, just the uh, fastest way how you can again manipulate again with your data. And it's also the art. Who will say it's not the art? So uh, actually, this is one more bonus for you. Let me avail now the freeze this uh, image. Uh, and now I actually, if you want to use, for example, exactly this thing. So how you can do that? Uh, I mean, as you can see here, it's not so strictly uh, changing the colors. Here it's going the lightly from the green to the blue. Uh, so we can resize uh, actually this image. So let's do use the resize. Uh, I'm using the uh, user. Uh, this is actually the um, user pack. Uh, which is I, I already forgot uh, image resize. I think this is, is Bumblebee or maybe just just check all the my uh, add-ins and uh, you will find it here. Oh, it's I think it's here. It's in QR. I think yeah, it's in QR as you can see here is the resize, uh, resize image. So what we will do that? Let's connect into the images and let's say we want to get like 600 uh, by 600 millimeter. Uh, oh, I mean the pixels, not millimeter. And let's connect to the image uh, watch. Let's run it. And we will get, as you can see, a bit different, slightly different the picture. And let's say we want to use the randomize for this, the color. Let's run it again. And now export this image. We want to get the result. Uh, let me do that and I will change the name because I want to save the previous one. So and let's run it. We already run it. We can now go back to the, our website. Uh, again, let's reload it uh, as you already understand better if you will reload it. Uh, and it's here, the number three, I think. Yes, it's number three and let's upload it. And as you can see, it's slightly uh, here, the, something like a blur. And let's run it. Let's run it. And now we get much better uh, changing. As you can see, now our water is water and it's slightly changing to the something else. And I think this is really incredible. You can create with all this data really in unbelievable the pictures. Use it, try it and uh, maybe, maybe uh, you can share with all your own experience. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this research tutorial was for you. Um, I don't know, interesting. Uh, I don't think it's useful, but I think it's interesting. Thank you for watching and see you next time.